This is Sports Broadcast with Michael and Mike and his special guest, Pike. Hello, sports world. This is Michael and Mike. Uh, coming with you today with, uh, like you said, a special uh, guest, Pike. We're going to debate an argument here uh, on who we think should, who we think will and should win the Heisman Trophy. Actually, I'm going to let Pike open this one, so go ahead, Pike. Okay, um, with mine, mine's simple. I'm going to have to go with uh, Monty, the linebacker from Notre Dame. Why? Um, it's because, one, his team's undefeated, playing in the national championship. And then I look at the person who his competition is, and it's Johnny Football. And other than um, his team's 10-2, 10-2, 6-2 in the SEC. But their only quality win that I see is at Alabama. The other wins that I see, he lost to LSU, lost to Florida. I mean, he's got wins over the SMU Mustangs, South Carolina State Bulldogs. Only one by three on the road against Ole Miss. And, uh, yeah, his stats are really good. But if AP, I think, didn't win as a freshman, then Johnny Football should win as a freshman. And it's been a long long time since the defensive players won it. So Charles nobody, Woodson. Yeah, actually. since Charles Woodson. But I think nobody's really stood out on offensively. Uh, most of the time you see a Heisman Trophy win like Cam or Tim. The team's undefeated, playing in the national championship. So that's why this year I say I give it to Monty. Okay, I uh, I understand that, and, and I'm not saying he is not uh, not worthy of that, and obviously he is. I think he is one of the three finals. And I think we all can 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 uh, you know agree that it's going to come down to him, Johnny Manziel, and and Colin Klein. But I honestly think it's just going to come down to Manziel and Klein. And I think Johnny Manziel will, and I think he deserves to win. And I understand what you said. He, he deserves to win. I think he does. He deserves. <laughs> I think he does. Uh, because I understand what you're saying, that uh, he is the, uh, you know, Monty's team went undefeated and, and Manziel's lost too. And I, and I understand that. And I know a lot of times it comes down to the best player on the best team. Mm -hmm. I, do, I do understand that. And I agree 100% with you. AP, without a shadow of a doubt, was the best player. Uh, there's no question about it. And he should have won it his freshman year. But I think the Heisman Trust, they, they don't like to vote for a freshman. Right. Uh, but I think maybe they've learned from that. But I, I really, truly feel that the Heisman Trophy should go to the best player, period, uh, in, the, in the nation. Mm -hmm. And I think he is the most valuable and most important but if you take, for his team. If you take away that one quarter that he had, that first quarter against Alabama, he wouldn't even be in the Heisman Well, I, 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 I disagree with that now. And I understand so what you're saying. you think saying. you get I, I, that first Yes, I do, I do. Because the point blank is he won the ball game. Right, he won. Okay. He helped his team win the ball game. Mm -hmm. And I understand what you're saying about he struggled to get, you know, and didn't beat Florida and didn't beat LSU. Florida, I give him a little bit of a pass just because I honestly think, I mean, this is going to open up a whole new can of worms. I think Florida has the best defense in the nation. Hands no, goodness. I do. No, okay. But, okay, different story. Different, di different story. <laughs> different story. But, they they were able to adjust in the first game of the season against him. LSU right. has a very good defense. They adjust. Alabama even adjusted and slowed him down running the ball in the second half. Yeah. But he beat him with his arm. So he, he right. found ways to win with his arm. And I understand, but I think he was in the running with mm -hmm. that. But I think that win did compel him up over Colin Klein. But I think then what hurt Colin <laughs> Klein, who I think is his biggest competition, was in prime time against Baylor did not play very good at all. And I understand what you're saying. He may yeah. he may not be in that discussion if it's not. I think he's in the discussion even without the Alabama win, but I think that propelled him from being in the discussion to, to putting it there. I mean, that, that, that's what I think. So. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, he had, what, 21? It was 21 nothing in the first quarter? He scores eight points for the for, you know, the three remaining quarters. Uh, they won. I understand. They won. But you look, at, you look at last week. Monty goes in. He's going to play at USC, the Trojans. They need to have that win. Has a big interception in the third quarter, and uh, had what seven tackles, two four loss. I mean, his team was in the prime time in USC, where the Rose Bowls played. I understand. Had to win the game. I understand. Thought they wasn't going to win it, and I just give it to him twelve and zero. Twelve, and but I don't. Think, I look at I look at the schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, and we look at at Florida. We look at. Ole Miss, which had a surprising year. I know a lot of people yeah, say that. But, okay, Ole but Miss I'm just saying, Ole Miss. Yeah, Ole Miss, I got you. LSU, 
Mm-hmm. Mississippi State was having a good year at the time, then, but they did tank a little bit at the end of the year. Yeah, just, and then Alabama. I'm just looking at the grind of the SEC. And Louisiana mm-hmm. Tech, now they played that game late, you got to remember. And Louisiana Tech was a pretty good football team. Louisiana and I understand, Tech I understand, I understand. I understand, I understand the prime I, time will okay, oh, well, okay. In the, in the, in the game they may not, but, but they have a better season than USC does. So I'm just thinking, Notre Dame. But they're not the, the better team. So if USC, they Louisiana play a tougher schedule than Notre Dame, Dame does. They they should have at least three losses. Now, granted, they won their ball games. Right. They got. I think they got a got a gift from the ref mm-hmm. in Stanford. That should have went to double overtime. They get a gift from a high but snap. They, they, they did. I, I'm saying they won. They, they won. won. The fact of the matter is they won the ball game. But I honestly think the most important player to his team. Is Johnny Manziel? I think he's more important than your guy from well, Miami. You know, yeah. and, 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 and that's why, and, that, and that's what I yeah. think. I think it should go to the best player, and you can't argue he's not important to his team. But I think he could, they can win a game without him. I don't know if Texas A&M can well, be, it's can be the LA. quarterback position, the linebacker position. I understand though. completely. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what the longevity of the whole entire season being the best player. I think he was the best player at his position all year, hands down. I mean, the, the, you take away the first quarter in Alabama, and Johnny wouldn't even be in the race right now. I think he would. I just don't think he'd be as high. But the, it's going to. But the, the flip, the bad side to this, it's going to be hard for a defensive player ever mm-hmm. to yeah, win the high. And, and, and the reason Woodson won it because he did return kicks and he right. played a little bit of receiver. But right. And, and but I, I mean, I agree. But I just honestly, I think Johnny Benzel is the best player in, in, in college football. That's just how I see it. So. Mm-hmm. So I'll build a team, and I'll take Monty one. You take Johnny. I'll, I'll take Johnny. We'll go from there. I'll tell you, we'll go from there. That's where we will. Um, but and I, like I we'll said, see. but I, no, I we will see. going to win. I think Johnny's going right. to win. I, I think Johnny's honestly, it'll come down to him and Colin. But I, I think the win, like I said, I think the win, and I think Did we you both agree. Him and Colin. Johnny in college? Yeah. So you think Colin beats three? I think he finishes third. third. I really Ooh. do. I really do. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's those two, uh, those three, but I think it comes well, out because the others are all offensive players. So yeah, and, and see, and you know how the Heisman, but I mean, that, and that's why I think they'll finish one, two, but I think, honestly, I think Johnny's more important than Klein is. A lot of people may disagree with it, with that, but I just think. Well, the quarterback position is way more important. Exactly. Exactly. But. And I, but I think we both can agree if it's not for the – I think he's still in the debate even if they lose to Alabama. But I, we both agree the Alabama win kind of pulled oh, yeah. there for sure. Oh, yeah. so. well, uh, will they beat South Carolina State? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, I agree. But I, mean, I, I, just well, look at his whole body. I, I just look at his whole body of work. Just on passing, I mean, he throws for 3,419 3, yards, completes 68%, 24 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. He now, he did have 22 sacks, but a lot of those came against LSU and Florida when they clamped down in the right. second half on him. So, right. you know, but – all right, tight race. Yeah, well, I, I, it yeah, will. But I, I, like I said, I think Johnny wins. So, well, that's pretty much that for this one. Uh, and I want to thank Pike for coming in on us and giving his opinion on it. Um, we hope you uh, can follow us. Um, Facebook.com backslash sports cast. And also uh, on Twitter at sports blog cast. Until next time, live hard, play hard. God bless.